All right, well, we're headed out to buy that uh, 96 Impreza, I think. It allegedly has a minor overheating issue, but I don't think it's a head gasket because it's a 2.2 liter. I could eat my words, but hopefully not. Either way, we are bringing my tools, a bucket to drain the coolant if I need to, water, some extra coolant, um, you know, screwdrivers, etc. And uh, hopefully we're going to recover the dang thing and I'll drive it home. So give you a little bit of what we do along the way and show you the car and hope you enjoy folks alrighty well we just got to the car so we'll see we'll see I only saw it at night so we'll see if I was crazy but you can see from here oh if I'll focus I mean it's already got less rust than any of my cars but a little dent in the rocker a little crack in the hood a little tiny rust spot there but None of the quarter panel rot you usually see compared to most. No rust on the hatch. And then these rocker panels to me looked pretty, I mean look at that, you can see you, they've still got the, the square there for the rubber mount that used to go around this, which is almost always gone. And most of this is solid. So this is, for the year, this is a solid Impreza. You don't see them this rust free in Vermont usually at this age, so. One thing I don't like about it is it's an automatic, but it's not my car, so... At any rate, we'll see if the folks are here and see what we can do with it. Oh, it does have a cracked windshield. That's a pain. Damn it. I didn't see that at night, but not the worst thing that could happen. And inspected... Yeah, I just went out of inspection, too. Bummer. We're out here charging the Impreza to try to get it to run and um, checking out this guy's... What year is it? This one? Yeah. 58. 58? Dodge Dart. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, the four door. But he said he's got all the chrome to put yeah, on it. The old transmission shift, the push button. Oh, it's got the push button shift. <laughs> that's super cool. When we were out here uh, looking around, excuse me, sir. And there's a Volvo sitting there too. It looks kind of nice, but it got hit. And then his neighbor apparently has a collection, owns some kind of Barry Auto Shop. Kinda looks like a challenger sitting over there. Apparently got a pickup truck collection too, but hopefully we'll have it running pretty quick. I haven't filmed trying yet, but I have a feeling this is the one. Ready? Ah, oh, so close. Turned right over, but did not start. Full tank of gas, allegedly. Oh, cleaned a couple of the spark plug terminals. Let's see. There she is. Purrs like a kitten. Wow, that's a good sounding engine for 223. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Nothing wrong with the sound. All right, well we're not gonna run it too long because apparently it overheats, but well, we gotta run it, huh? I guess. <laughs> well, I'll let it run for just a sec. We'll turn it off, do the deal, let this sit and charge it, and then run off with it. But I don't want it to warm up. Did the deal. Gonna filled it up with coolant. It was super low, so who knows? But we're gonna start it again. Starts right up. Here's like a kitten. We'll close this up. And drive it away. It a lot though, that side. All right. Into drive. It's moving. It's working. It's working. Ooh, back brakes are noisy. Not unusual for a car that's been sitting. They're a bit extra noisy though. Brakes haul it down. All right, well, we're on the way. I'll let you know if it overheats. Well, it runs beautiful. Just got down to the gas station. It's not overheating yet, but that doesn't mean anything. Just gonna go investigate under the hood. I don't really want to shut it. That the yeah. You were spewing fluid out the fucking exhaust. Really? Oh, but that's just condensation. Um, it must have condensated quite a bit, man. Well, yeah, for sitting there <laughs> on an angle too. Yeah, well, take a look now. Yeah, but you'll get some, like, I mean, that's pretty normal for a car that's been sitting that's just starting up, but if it smells sweet, you know. 
Doesn't smell. It smells like exhaust, but it doesn't smell like coolant. Yeah, no, 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 totally. I mean, it's at temp now. The hood doesn't want to pop, of course. Well, I don't know what I got on video there, but it does look like it's kind of blowing up the coolant reservoir. When I rev it. So, it may well be a head gasket. Which is a bummer. Well, I'm here in a no parking spot. We've made it 23 miles. We're at the interstate. Hasn't overheated. Runs beautifully. Goes down the road beautifully. I wouldn't guess that there's anything wrong with the car if nobody had told me. So It's running great. Just got to pop the hood. I just want to check the overflow. It, no overheating. It goes down the road. Beautiful. About to try to pull the thing. I mean, so far it hasn't done anything weird. It's taking in coolant from the reservoir, but that it wouldn't have been fully topped off anyway. That feels like it's not full. So, I don't see a leak. I mean, if anything, it's eating it through the exhaust, and the reason it's overheating is they're letting it run out. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. But. I mean. Yeah, there's no more shooting spit in the water. And I didn't see any smoke right there. Yeah, no. You would think it, but I mean, it runs beautifully. It's, I mean, it goes down the road, no problem. Cool. So. I don't know. I mean, it still may be the head gasket, but I do like the interior. if if it even if it needed a head gasket, I can change it on this easy enough. And but so yeah, get gas real quick, and we'll we'll head out. I'll put some more in the overflow. Just I don't want to jinx it, but it's going okay so far. Well, we made it all the way to the White Market, Lindenville. Temperature gauge stayed steady. Drives beautiful, but uh. Who knows? Seems like it's using a little bit of coolant, but it also wasn't full, so that's pretty normal. But we're going to keep going, see if it makes it home. Well, we got it home. It ran beautifully. Never showed a hint of overheating. Had great power. I swerved on the dirt roads and it grips like crazy. Swerved on the pavement, did 45 mile per hour, emergency lane changes. No issues. The car is way better than my car. At any rate, um... We still don't know if there's anything wrong with the dang thing, but it, it didn't drink a lot of coolant from the reservoir on the interstate. Didn't blow any coolant into it. I haven't actually opened up the radiator yet to see how low it is, but I don't know. You know, if we only have to put a little bit of coolant in it once in a while, that's not the end of the world. But, um, you know, went 60 miles plus, so I think more like 75, had no issues. So, great car for $300. I mean, hell, I could part it out and make $300 in two days around this area, but... Minimal, minimal rust. Little thing right there. I mean, for a car this age, it's no problem. Oh, by the way, it is a 98, at least according to the registration, not a 96, which I was pretty confident wasn't a 96 since it's the single port head engine. Um, and then it has a 97 owner's manual in it. And the person originally told me it was a 96. So whatever, 99% sure that it is a 98. Man, I just said a lot of 90s. At any rate, probably going to clean it real quick. Um... And otherwise, it's pretty well good to go. Cracking the windshield, but it's pretty low down, so it may still inspect. Who knows? Good little car for 300 bucks. so hopefully my mom's going to like it. All right, I sprayed it down real quick. You can see how nice and white that back panel looks. That, that one I actually wiped down with a rag. This door, you know, has a little bit of paint damage for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, so I'll give it a proper wash later and show you guys what it looks like. I think that's probably going to be all for today. Uh, mission accomplished. I don't really know what's wrong with the car in terms of overheating, but for right now, we're having good luck with it. So, hopefully it's good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope this little one was entertaining. Just an adventure to get my mom a car. One that I know how to work on really well and can easily maintain. Even if it needs a head gasket, I can do it now that I have an engine crane. Not sure what all else I'll do today. It's kind of rainy. Getting a little bit later, I definitely have to edit some videos. So that'll probably be it. 
More Eclipse parts did come in. Um, still waiting on the OEM stuff though, which I really need the starter plate before I can go ahead with the build. Although I should do rust work on it. Appreciate you watching everybody. 802 Garage out.